Okay, so is Putin going to make out in the long run? And that's Marianne S. asked that question. Uh, will Putin make out in the long run? So that's what the video will be about. I hope you like the video. And if you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, why haven't you subscribed? It's not difficult to do. If you really hate it, you can unsubscribe later. But won't you go ahead and subscribe? And uh, thank you very, very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. Yeah, Putin's got plenty of cash stashed all over the world to uh, hold him over. Uh, don't forget the pallets of solid gold bricks that Venezuela's uh, corrupt, uh, the Latin uh, oligarch, uh, Maduro, President Maduro of Venezuela, shipped to him via a Russian private jet in the middle of the night. So, yeah, there's money all over this globe that Putin has access to one way or another. And um, so, yeah, he'll make out in the end. He can't help but. And there was something else I wanted to mention about that. Yeah, well, it's just that. All, this, all the money secreted all over the place. He'll have a way to uh, access it. The only thing that will make a difference is if uh, he gets held to account for uh, war crimes. That's the, um, the end result. But remember, those sort of things take a long time coming. Okay, so viewer Marianne S., ask, will Putin make out in the long run? Will Putin make out in the long run? That's exactly how she phrased the question, and that's how I'll ask it. Will Putin make out in the long run? So, um, you know, he's got money all over the place. So in that respect, he'll be fine. But I guess the question kind of going around as I make, as I film this, is whether the oligarchs might push him out. So it seems to us that he has an awful lot of power, but behind the scenes, there's a former uh, Russian, um, I think he's a former Russian uh, foreign minister who came forward and said, listen, the person in charge is controlled by the oligarchs almost as much as they control the oligarchs. So will Putin make out in the long run? But first, let's have a moment of meditation. So will Putin make out in the long run? Interesting question. Thank you, Marianne S. Yes, for asking. Will Putin make out in the long run? Will Putin make out in the long run? The bigger question is, how will I fit all these cards into this tiny space? So let's do six cards, and that may be the end of it for this question. So one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Will Putin make out in the long run? Interesting. So the signifier card four, will Putin make out in the long run? Ah, this is the two of pentacles. Pentacles are worth their value. They can be money, and they probably all of that in this case with Putin. So um, this is balancing that. This is trying to find a, uh, uh, you know, a happy uh, medium in that. So will Putin make out in the long run? And the signifier card is this balancing act. Looks like he'll find the balance. The challenge to that, though, is this Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is um, the greedy merchant, okay, is how it's referred to, which is kind of appropriate uh, for him in this case. It's a lot of emotion. It's a lot of value in that emotion and, uh, and wanting to or being able to actually display all the emotional trophies that you've won over a period of time. So will Putin make out in the long run? It's a balancing act, and it's challenged by uh, a display of all the uh, trophies that you've won. Past to, or the base of this reading then is the, is this the lovers or is this the devil? This is the lovers. This is Cupid right here. So the base of this reading is the lovers, partnerships, and it's the major arcana lovers. So this is so strong, um, uh, lasting partnerships. So will Putin make out in the long run? This kind of says probably, yeah. Uh, the past of this reading then uh, with this knight of swords, 
the Knight of Swords is fighting for his truth, his justice, his rules, his law. In this case, I have to say it that way because th that whole country is living in some sort of an alternate uh, reality, it seems like. So in the past of this, is having fought for his truth, justice, rules, and law. That's Putin. And in the sky of this reading, with the Queen of Swords, this, uh, for me, right away, it made me think of Mother Russia. Um, and so uh, the country's truth, justice, rules, and law are what's at the top of this reading. Okay. And the likely outcome as to whether will Putin make out in the long run. Ah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of um, wands. And this is a, a um, well, what is a nine of wands? It's not a heavy load either. I'm going to look it up and make sure I say the right thing. Nine of wands, nine of wands, nine of wands. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, it's being really embattled. Um, so, yeah, so the likely outcome of this is that it is going to be a difficult uh, challenge for Putin. But listen, he's endlessly wealthy. Even if he just is able to uh, uh, manage to save a small portion of the billions that they say that he's worth, uh, he's going to make it out. So what is he going to make out in the long run? His challenge is the signifier is finding that balance and it's challenged, challenged by this uh, greedy merchant running to show uh, all the trophies that he's won, which is what he would absolutely do. Say, look what I've done for the country over these 20 plus years. And then and uh, the base of the reading uh, is a uh, major icon of lovers. So really uh, enmeshed with uh, with this situation. Uh, the past of this reading is where Putin has been been fighting for his truth, his justice, his rules, his law, and but the sky is the country's uh, good will will at some point uh, overrule uh, his because this is a queen and that's a uh, knight. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing is that uh, yeah, this is hard. And it's embattled, and but the thing about the embattled uh, uh, figure that's usually associated with this nine of uh, wands is that he's ready for the fight and he's not going to give up. So I hope those cards were satisfying to you. I mean, we can never know what they're going to say. Or, and, of course, how I interpret them might be how you interpret them. Uh, but uh, we're not here to compare that. It certainly don't compare me to other channels. Uh, you can only uh, compare to uh, how you're feeling. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Okay, so these are Pierpoint Morgan's Visconti Sforza Tarachi deck. So uh, these come in a great box. I mean, you really feel like you've got something of value here, and they've got some interesting stuff inside. This is the; uh, these are the uh, uh, rich folks who um, would have had these cards uh, created: uh, Bianca Visconti and uh, Francesco Sforza. So there we go with that. We dump the cards out. There's a cool instruction book back here that is in full color with the cards and easy to read. So that's great. So these cards are from like around the late 1700s, I think. And when you spread them out, they're huge is, is one problem, but they're very interesting to look at. I just don't know that they show up as well on um, the camera as they do in person. So I don't use them uh, on the camera that much, but they are very interesting. The court cards, and the uh, Major Arcana are not too difficult to decipher, although they are difficult to decipher. This is the Fool, for instance. And, um, but the uh, Pip cards, the numbered cards, you know, you kind of kind of know your, your divination. And, you know, these weren't originally used for divination. They were just used for playing a game. And uh, somehow, I think the Gypsies got a hold of this stuff and decided to do something else with them. But uh, these will give you a run for your money. Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.